What is going on everyone and welcome back to another Ross Reviews where today we are doing the very highly anticipated BF XR6 the NA1 and this has been a very very requested video uh, but a lot of people want to see this thing a naturally aspirated barrel review so we're doing it today and uh you know, just, just taking off right there, you know, it doesn't feel too bad. Doesn't really doesn't. Now this is a 2007 BF XR6. It is in this famous Zach Baldy breeze color. <laughs> and uh, it is in the six speed manual, which is always nice. Car is in very good condition. You know, it looks really spot on. We do have a GT wing at the back. It is running coilovers, does have an intake and it does have an exhaust so you know you've got your basic NA mods here and uh, you know it's fairly comfortable it really is assembled in Campbellfield Victoria these B series Falcons are just some of the coolest Aussie cars they really are uh, you know I'm a sucker for a B series you know that from watching my channel I've had a BA Ute, I've got the BF F6 now, and you know, I really do love these B Series Fords. Uh, you know, I think the B Series had a really good look to them, especially the BF. You know, if you had the option to get a BF, I think that was the one you were going to get. Had the better transmissions, and uh, you know, it was just a little bit more of a better fitted product. Now, under the bonnet in this thing, we've got the legendary Barra 190, so that is 190 kilowatts, so about 255 horsepower and about 283 pound foot of torque from factory. So, you know, it's not, it's not too bad. And, you know, you, you really put your foot into it, you know, it's still got some get up and go, you know, especially up on the top end. It's, um, you know, these Barras, once they're, once they're singing, they, they do just fly. Now these B-Series Falcons were introduced in 2005 and they were carried up until 2008 with the release of the FG. But the wagon, these, these wagons kind of go on, on, you know, forgotten here because the B-Series had a wagon and uh, unfortunately the F-Series, uh, the FG series didn't get a wagon. So these B-Series wagons were carried up until 2010 actually. And uh, you know, they're quite, quite rare. I never really see any, any more on the road there, but maybe one day we'll get one on the channel. Now one of the major things with the BF series was the transmission. So this is running the six speed manual, which was actually featured in some of the later BAs. So my old BA XR8 had the six-speed manual as well, but that was because it was a later one. The early BAs would have had a five-speed manual. Uh, the big winner was obviously if you got the auto in the ZF six-speed because the BF introduced that. Before in the BA, you had the terrible, god-awful four-speed and yeah, you really want to try and avoid that if you can because the performance is just so much better in the ZF or in the manual. Let's go around some of these bends. The coilovers do make a pretty good, nice difference in this car, actually. It uh, goes around the bend pretty nicely not a whole lot of rock. You know, generally with these Falcons, you get quite a big push to one side and then it kind of settles down. But um, yeah, with the coilovers in here, it's, it's pretty flat, it's pretty flat, not bad. And again, it's, it's actually quite a nice delivery of power here, you know, and, it, and it's a decent amount. It's not, it's not slow. You just, you're just not getting that kind of influx from the turbo with some of the other bears I'm used to reviewing. Um, it's, 
Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit weird. It's kind of more of a relaxing pull in this rather than a getting your head, you know, thrown back in the seat. But the speed is actually it's 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 still pretty peppy actually. It's not yeah, it's pretty good. having the uh, aftermarket exhaust it actually doesn't have too bad of a note to it as well yeah, it's got a nice little nice little sound on throttle it's not too bad the six-speed manual is really nice um, Again, you know, even with, it's the same as my XR8 one, so the throws are quite long, but it is nice to get, you know, go in and out of the gears. It's easy to go in and out of the gears. You're never gonna get lost at where you are. Uh, you know, the clutch is really light. You know, it's, it's probably one of the lightest clutches I've reviewed in a long time here. But, uh, you know, it's just easy to drive, it really is. Great car to learn. Like, this is really a great car to learn in because it's decently quick still, but it's just so easy to drive. Now, one of the best things about these B-Series Falcons is the reliability. It's just otherworldly. You know, these, these Barras will just go and go and go. You know, you get the joke here all the time that this is a taxi. Well, you know, it's a taxi because it was so bloody good that it would just keep going and going and going. You know, I've seen taxi models here that go over a million Ks. You can go over a million Ks on the same engine. And, you know, not a lot of cars can do that. They really can, you know. Even when you have a look at used examples, you will just see that the Ks are almost always extremely, extremely high because these cars just like to put on the miles, you know. You can really rack up the Ks in this thing and it still drives, you know, it, it's reliable. It's, it just goes, chugs along, built for Aussie roads, you know, built for the Aussie conditions and they hit a winner with this thing. They really did. With this having, you know, the big four liter straight six, it is thirsty. And this particular one is doing around 13.2 liters 100 Ks, which isn't god awful, but keep in mind, you know, it'll drink a bit. Now, from new, a BF Falcon XR6 like this would have set you back around that $40,000 mark, which I think was pretty good value. It really was, you know, and on the used market today, these were once a absolutely incredible bargain and probably still are because if you go on car sales you know you go on gumtree depending on condition you can still find examples around five to ten thousand dollars now with covert tax hitting it is a lot more challenging to get on the lower aspect of that price point but it's still achievable mind you those cars will have very high Ks, probably well into the 200s, if not 300,000. But I wouldn't let, I wouldn't put that off. I wouldn't make that a, a negative because if this car has been treated right, you do your regular maintenance, these Barras will go. They really will. You can feel and hear slightly the thudding there as well. This does have a bit of a diff bush problem, which is going to get fixed shortly. And that's one of the big negatives with owning a B-Series sedan because the Utes never had this issue. So, you know, if you never want to worry about diff bushes, just go ahead and buy a Ute, right? But if you need the sedan, the diff bushes are a big problem because they are quite expensive to repair and pretty much you got to be very lucky never to fix it in the lifetime of you owning. So, it's around a you know a minimum thousand dollar usually uh, fix there, so keep that in mind because if you're gonna buy a used one, be good to check when the diff bushes were last done.
Now, it's in the driving position. Feels, yeah, you know, your typical Falcon. Comfortable seats. You know, there's not a lot of bolstering to them. You know, big chunky steering wheel here. Gauges. The, the thing I really don't particularly like in the B-Series is the center console. It's just really basic. Yeah, you know, it's, it's just not a lot of great things with it. You know, you're generally always going to have an aftermarket radio installed because this factory one, it is quite garbage. The thing I really hated about the B-Series gauge cluster was that they didn't put Redline in the RPM gauge. They, they put this red... They put this red mark in the speed, so once you hit 120 Ks, you get this red little indicator, but you have no idea when redline is in the RPM. So it, even in my F6, they do this. So when I'm in the F6 and I'm sending it, I actually don't know where my redline is. And it's really frustrating because you'll find out, you know, every now and then when you're really pushing it, you'll accidentally find out where it is because it will just kill the power once you hit it. It doesn't like to bounce off the limiter of these cars. They kind of, once you hit limiter, it kind of kills the engine and you, yeah, you basically lost all speed. So it is quite annoying that they didn't put in just the most simple of things, a red line counter, you know, it's very dumb. Now zero to a hundred. I'm not sure what a NA Barra B series gets actually from zero to 100, but we'll find out. So we're in the six speed manual here, so it's gonna be up to me, but just gonna take it fairly easy because we do have that diff push issue, but here we go. Three, two, one. Log in a bit. Oh, the diff push. 100. <laughs> yeah, that is where you can hear and feel kind of the diff push issue, unfortunately. Doesn't affect performance, I think, but yeah, we're gonna get that fixed soon. <laughs> uh, I, know the, I know that pain because my F6 just recently had that sorted, so yeah. Little bit boggy off the line, though I didn't really build the revs up too much because of the diff bushes, obviously, but yeah, it's not bad. Like I said, once it's going, this car can feel pretty rapid, but it takes a lit. You gotta finesse it to get up there, that's all. All up. Naturally aspirated XR6. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's uh, you know, obviously for the big enthusiast who wants to go really fast, get a turbo or a V8. But you know, if you're just starting out, you know these are these are awesome cars. They really are, and the price point is very affordable. Now I'm going to finish the video off here today. So a huge thank you to Harry for bringing out his XR6 because yeah, this was a highly anticipated video. I've always been wanting to get into a naturally aspirated Barra. See how they go. And you know, they ain't that bad. They really aren't. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If so, please go ahead and hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you're new here. And we'll see you on the next video.